Good morning. It's June 1st. I'm ready to get this vlog started. Um, I'm really tired. I just woke up uh, about maybe 10 minutes ago. It's 8.07 8 and today we're having one of the fences in our backyard replaced. It's one of those things that I really, really would have preferred not to do when I don't have a job, but we had already agreed to do it, so we're going with it. And um, hopefully it'll look really nice. I took a before video, so we'll see what it looks like after. I'm going to get ready for the day, have some breakfast, do some cleaning, and then uh, start to get ready for my game development stream. I may even start like working on it before the stream just to get my bearings a little bit. I'm pretty nervous. I've never done a daily video anything. And this is streaming so like I don't have to edit it, but I'm still pretty worried about how it will go. It's a lot to commit to, but like I have the time, I have the energy, or at least I should. So here goes. I've just made a little plan in my bullet journal. Some things on the list for today are laundry, exercise, meditation, and then I just want to focus on game development. Today was also my last official day of work, and they did very generously let me keep the MacBook Pro that they gave me to do my work on, so some of today was spent getting it properly wiped and disconnected from their company stuff, and also saying goodbye. I spent some time today working on the terrain object model, so the object that's going to act as the ground and the mountains and, you know, the, the terrain. I'm working with Blender, which is a 3D software for making like 3D models and animations and things like that. I started off using their sculpt tool to get the basic shapes I wanted, and I did sketch out a quick little idea on a piece of paper first, but the game world is going to be fairly small, uh, centered around one little town, so... I don't need a lot of detail here, I just want enough to make it interesting. Quick recap again then. Character. Uh, idle animation. Camera movement. This, um... I really wish I had turned the shine down on the, the terrain because it's kind of obnoxious. This fire animation I did. Yeah, and this radial menu is not the best. I need to figure out how I can make it a little bit more user-friendly. It's very, very basic right now. Pretty much when when you hit um, F is what I have it bound to now. It locks the cursor in the middle, and then movement is mapped to one of the four directions. Shoo. Cool. I think this looks good. This is good, though. This is good. And um, to get this out of here, all I really need to do is click export, and then, yeah, I'm just going to call this house one, export, and so now that's ready to go when I want to put it in the game. So that will be the end of the stream. It went about 20 minutes longer. Okay, today is June 2nd second day of this little game dev project I've got going on. I'll be honest, today's kind of rough. As you, I'm sure, know, by the time this is posted, there have been protests, some riots, um, a lot of uproar about civil rights, and with that, there have been, like, some complicated feelings and things where I'm not sure what the right thing to say or do really is, like, in response. And after thinking a lot about it and kind of seeing the thrash where, like, like today is Blackout Tuesday, and I have seen kind of, like, a lot of confusion over what is supposed to happen. People started posting black squares, and then that was, like, not what people wanted. And then at the same time, there's kind of guilt-mongering around, like, if you are silent, you're complicit. And... I feel like all this does is convince people to do sort of performative stuff, like posting, you know, the same thing everyone else is posting, regardless of whether they've, like, thought about the effect it's gonna have. 
And I think that's why the whole, like, black square thing happened, is because people were trying so hard to do what they thought they were supposed to do that they did not consider the consequences of it. And I think there needs to be a distinction made between being silent on social media when you are separated from the events that are happening and, like, being silent in a situation where you could speak up against something that is happening, you know? Like, in that case, I think that phrase, like, being silent is being complicit makes more sense. All this to say, I have decided to respond by being very thoughtful about what I post, and I also don't want to flood the space. Like, I don't want to post me and my feelings and my thoughts when I could be leaving space for other people who are much better informed, who have more at stake than I do. And really the only reason I'm discussing it here is because it's big news. It's affected my day quite a bit. You know, I like I'm pretty tapped into Twitter and Instagram and and I am just horrified by a lot of the things that I'm seeing. Like I can't even believe that this is the world we live in. But I'm not gonna go on about it. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm going to focus on what I can actually do. I hope everyone's doing well, and most importantly, staying safe. We have kind of a unique stack of challenges on us as a country and like as a world, really, so there's a lot to look out for, and I hope you're all doing okay. Alright, time to make some lunch. It's about 2pm right now, uh, we had our fence finished. I'll put a little clip of that. Um, uh, it's, it's pretty late, like I said, I spent most of the morning looking at Twitter and uh, thinking my thoughts. So now I'm going to have some lunch and I'm going to get into, I think, some research for my Skillshare course. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for the final piece, the deployment of the website in my web development series, so I'm going to gonna try and work on that and get get the course to the people who want it. So I will continue my daily game dev streams, but because of the fence construction, uh, I've had to move these first two streams to the evening. Um, so if you follow me on Twitch, you already knew that. Um, you already saw it happen yesterday, but in case anyone else was unsure of what happened, um, I still had it. It was just at night. Okay, on to lunch. And then I went out just for a little bit to enjoy the sun and the flowers that are coming up in our garden. I started on an outline for my Skillshare course. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think as I'm learning more, I think it's going to be a fairly simple class to make. Hopefully it will be simple to follow as well. Hey guys, um, today is June 3rd, I think. It is June 3rd, right? I hope it is, otherwise I've lost a day, but um, today's a little bit better. Uh, I ultimately did decide to cancel my game dev stream yesterday in support of Blackout Tuesday. I'm still not sure if that was like what was asked for. Uh, I've had a hard time finding like the initial plan really for Blackout Tuesday, but I'm not going to worry about it. I instead worked quietly on my game. And I'll put a clip of over this probably of like what I worked on, but pretty much I, I worked on painting a grass texture and setting up a, a triplanar shader for terrain. So basically what it does is it compares the normal, which is like, like if you have a face like this, the normal is the direction that's perpendicular to that. And it compares the normal of a face to the world normal. Uh, meaning, basically, if you're on a face that is, like, up in the world, it will have, like, one texture on it. And if you're on a face that's sort of horizontal, it'll have a different one. And what this does is it makes it so I can put, like, grass on the tops of surfaces and then stone on the sides. Um, so it's kind of, like, an easy way to texture things that are very big that you don't want to, like, paint manually, the whole thing. So, yeah. It was good. It was good. I had a lot of fun doing it. I, I don't really paint textures often or really ever, so it was fun to um, to try that out. I used a couple tutorials that I will try to remember to link uh, by Minions Art, who 
whose name I know and just completely forgot. I'm very sorry. Uh, she is an, an amazing, amazing developer and ha has a Patreon and she does tutorials that she gives out. A lot of them for free and then like supporting resources uh, are to people who contribute to her Patreon. I'll make sure to link her because she is so good and I'm I'm getting so much help from her um, because as I mentioned before, I'm from a software background, but I haven't done as much game development as I would like, so I'm still learning a lot of this stuff. Um, but plan for today is to get another stream going. I think I will paint the stone texture for that shader that I want to use using another tutorial from, uh, I think her name is Joyce. But yeah, another tutorial from her. First, I need to get some lunch down and kind of like tidy myself up. I'm a little bit sloppy. Uh, the curse of being home all the time and not having to go anywhere. So I'll do my game dev stream from 1 p.m. to probably about 3 and then I'll take a little break, maybe do some work on my Skillshare course, have dinner, and then I think I will do another stream for game playing. And depending on what my friends are doing, I may do Apex, I may do um, TFT, so that's my day pretty much. Uh, I feel I feel like I've been pretty productive. I've already made like a noticeable visual difference in in my little game scene, so it's really exciting to see all that come together. Okay, it is June 4th, a Thursday I believe. I've just had my breakfast, which was some Eggo waffles with strawberry preserves on them. It was pretty good. Um, I am still kind of hungry a little bit. I have not planned my day just yet. I actually, I actually am running a little bit late because I woke up at 10. It took me about an hour to like feed the animals and everything. Speaking of animals, here's Crowley. Hey Crowley. Um, and then I, ate, I, I showered and ate, ate my breakfast slash lunch around 12. So it's like 12.30 now. Um, I'm going to start preparing for my game development stream. Alright, quick update. Oops, hi kitty. Quick update today. Um, it's June 5th, I believe. Five days into my game development project. Cat's tail is <laughs> getting a frame. He's begging for pets, so I'll have to do that when I'm done. Um, I did my game dev stream. It's, our, it's about 4 p.m., I think. Uh, I'm a little bit s slow on the vlog uptake today. I'm feeling pretty good today, you know, all things considered. And I've been getting a lot done. I'll show some clips of what I've been working on on stream. Uh, but I did some flower modeling yesterday where we made some flowers and some bushes for the game. Um, today I worked on interacting with objects, so actual focus on code today. Uh, a lot of the other stuff I've been doing has been art related, so... This is really the first time on stream that I've been getting into code and I'm real nervous. I had a lot of people show up in chat and they're all very supportive and friendly and, and just really good. So thanks everyone who stopped by. I appreciate all of you. I'll leave a link to, to Twitch if you want to stop by yourself, but you know, no pressure. This cat really wants a lot of attention. It's very cute. Uh, right now I'm doing a little bit of exercise, just walking around my house and reading. Please, kitty, please stop. Cat's nuzzling my hands now and knocking the camera all around. So I'm going to get back to that. I just remembered I hadn't checked in yet today and I wanted to do that before I forget. So that this vlog doesn't have a big gap in the middle of it. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing good. Uh, I'll post some clips of what I've been working on and... I probably won't get to much more development today because I have a game stream planned for tonight, uh, but I'll get started on it again early tomorrow morning. And today's Friday, so nice relaxing day, I hope. Look at this cat. Alright, hello. I'm here. I'm actually just getting ready to do my dev stream. So I have the uh, green screen back there. Actually, I just leave it up. 
I'm not going to pretend like I set this thing up again every day. Um, but I'm feeling good. We did some good work yesterday. I'm sure I put this in the vlog already, but we did some code yesterday for kind of the first time on stream. And I was pretty nervous, but it went very well. I'm very happy that I have such like a nice, uh, nice little community that I'm building up around Twitch. Everyone's very supportive. Um, today I'm going to finish up some of that code stuff and then I think get into um, modeling the NPC characters. So some character stuff is going to be a little bit more involved and take a minute to get everything done. and. Today is a pretty normal day. I think it's Saturday. It's June 6th, if I didn't say that already. I've been making good progress on the Skillshare course, but I haven't actually started filming yet. I've just been researching and making an outline, so I kind of know what I'm doing when I do start filming it. Um, but I think I will be able to start filming that probably next week. And who knows, it might be actually pretty simple. Um, the deployment service I'm looking at makes things pretty easy. Overall good. I'm gonna do my stream from uh, about 1, which is uh, 20 minutes from now, uh, to about 3. I'm gonna stream uh, later tonight too. I thought about trying to start a Sims Legacy challenge. I don't really have a good way of tracking points for that. It's a very complicated challenge. But it sounds pretty fun. It does sound pretty fun, so I might try to whip something up between 3 and like 8 when I'll start streaming. We'll see. I might just do some ranked TFT because I think the season ends on Wednesday or Tuesday. I could be wrong about that. I'm still a little fuzzy on how that all works, but we've gotten a little bit off topic. That's fine. That's fine. Um, the vlog is wrapping up soon. I think I'll just do it, you know, from Monday to Sunday each week. So. Uh, I'll, I'll give a little recap on where I'm at with the game uh, after stream today, so that'll be up next, I believe. On stream, I did end up working on a basic NPC or non-playable character. And then later, when I had more time, I did the hands. I'm actually pretty impressed with these. Uh, hands are rough for me, usually, but I made these bad boys in like 20 minutes. Pretty incredible. It's nice to see that I'm actually getting better at this stuff the more I practice. And then on Sunday's stream, I worked on the face of my NPC using more tutorials from Joyce at Minions Are as a guide. She really just has so much great content out there. I would recommend supporting her on Patreon if you're into game development, if you're able to, just because Everything that she's put out there has been so helpful to me. The style I'm going for with my game is more low poly, so it's not terribly realistic, it's a little bit more cartoony. And I'm pretty happy with how this NPC turned out. He looks good and really matches the style I was going for, and I think he ended up looking very much like Nathan Fillion, which I'm not mad about. Nathan Fillion is a very cool dude. So, to walk through everything I got done this week, I worked on the terrain mesh, sculpting it, and getting the shapes right. This is just a first pass, so I'll make it more detailed and add some things as I go. I worked on a grass texture and a stone texture to put on the terrain, and I did that with a triplanar shader that I also made this week, so there's four things I've got done already just in a couple of days. I made a couple of different types of flowers and a shrub to put in the world. I wrote the code to allow characters to interact with objects and for those objects to sort of interact back in the form of like side effects or animations of their own. And then I made a complete NPC model with different customizable pieces that I'll show off in a later vlog. Uh, clothes, a face, pretty much all the details are ready. All in all, I feel wonderful about my progress this week. It really is incredible to me how much I can get done when I'm really focusing on one thing. I know I've been trying to learn this lesson for years, um, that trying to do everything at once is too much and it doesn't produce results, but it took this sort of job crisis to make me focus and I'm glad. I'm glad I have this. 
I'm hoping that that if I do end up getting another full-time job, that I'm still able to hold on to some of this drive for side projects. So that's it for this vlog. I want to thank everyone who's watching this video right now because I know the world has been absolutely insane this week. I know there's a lot of other stuff to worry about. I'm just happy that we're still able to be creative and share that creativity. And also, I've heard a lot of good news. Um, I haven't really researched it just yet, but I have heard that some of the officers responsible for racial violence have been arrested. Hopefully more of them will be soon. And I've heard a lot of other things that make me feel like we're turning a corner, and that gives me hope. So thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue following my game development journey. I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks again, and I hope to see you there. Bye!